This is Karen's Replicator. We're going to click Edit Settings. New job. And we're going to type a name for it. Your source folder, I'm going to say, is my C drive. And my destination folder is going to be on my network. And I'm going to click OK. So that's on my network drive. I want it to include everything, so I'm going to do uh, the start out star. Um, include subfolders. Copy files only if changed or added. So that means the next time I run this job, it's only going to copy files over that have changed um, for new files. It's not going to copy things that are already there and haven't been modified. Compare time of last modification, that's just something else for it to look at. Copy only if source is newer. And compare file sizes. And if you want it to delete your old copy before creating a new one, you can do that. Um, I'm not, I'd rather just leave it there. And it is scheduled, enabled to run every day. Uh, and you can change the schedule it to repeat every. I think every day is a bit much for me, so I'm going to change that to zero and I'm going to say repeat every two weeks. If you do a lot of work on your computer, every day might be great, even uh, maybe more times a week would be great. Um, you can say every day but don't run on the weekends. You can tell it what time you want it to run. Uh, I probably will not have the computer on at 1 a.m., so I'm going to change that to 7 p.m. I'm going to say save. Save job. And now I can say uh, save changes and close. There's that job. I can uh, run all enabled or run highlighted jobs now. I've got that highlighted, so I'm going to click run highlighted jobs now. and there it tells you what it's doing.